friends in this video we are going to see classification of signals that is periodic and aperiodic signal As the name suggests, the signal which will repeat itself after some time interval is called as a periodic signal. So, if you plot a signal, Let's take this is 0, somewhere here it's minus t, t, if you see properly, this is a part of a signal, which is getting repeated, if I further extend this axis, So somewhat like this we will get the signal and here we will have another interval 2t minus 2t. So this portion of the signal is repeating itself. So we can say over here the equation can be written as x of t equal to x of t plus m capital T and this is true for all values of t. Moreover, this is true for any integer m that is I can say x of t equal to x of t plus capital T or x of t equal to x of t plus 2 capital T x of t equal to x of t plus 3t and so on meaning I can have m integer varies from 1 to infinity still the signal repeat itself this is called as a periodic continuous time signal because we are considering over here the variable t which is a continuous time variable now if the signal which is not repeating itself can be termed as a periodic signal meaning if i am having x of t which is not same as x of t plus mt i can say signal is non periodic or a periodic let's concentrate on periodic signal so if x of t equal to x of t plus mt then signal is periodic here we will introduce one term which we call as t0 fundamental time period A smallest time in which signal repeat itself we call that as a fundamental time period so this is what we have seen for a continuous time signal same thing can be true for discrete time 
so for discrete time x of n is periodic if it is repeating its values after every time span so x of n equal to x of n plus capital n then the signal can be considered as periodic example suppose we are having a time sequence like this So I'm having the sequence like this. This sequence, let's consider it has 0, 1, 2 as the values of n. Then the sequence, if it is repeating itself, like this, I can say this is periodic signal so if you see properly these are the values of signal which are repeating itself and for this example this n is nothing but number of signals point one two three so it's like this three signals are repeating itself and the time period is three so here also i can say x of n is periodic for x of n plus m into n and m is any integer if this statement does not hold true that signal is called as a periodic signal So here we have seen very fundamental definition of periodic and aperiodic signal for continuous time as well as discrete time. Thank you.